Box and flower. Ready, 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 ready. Finish him. This week's problem. I broadcasted this on Math by Fives Facebook page. A scanner antenna is on top of a house. The angle of elevation from a point 28 meters from the center of the house to the top of the antenna is 28 degrees 10 minutes. And the angle of elevation to the bottom of the antenna is 18 degrees 10 minutes. Find the height of the antenna. Oops, I just realized what you're about to see isn't for this problem, but don't turn this video off. It turned into a teachable moment. What should my picture look like? My picture should look like this. Because the problem says that this distance here is 28 meters. So what does that make? Our antenna is x and the house is 28 minus x. What's next? Watch what comes next and see if you can get the correct answer to this problem and post it in the comments below. Oh boy. So the first thing we want to do is draw a picture, which brings us over here. I'm looking at this. Man, the center of the house, 28 feet house, there's a scanner antenna on top of that house, but the angle of elevation from out here is 27 degrees and 10 minutes. The angle to the top of the house is 18 degrees 10 minutes. So, what does that get us? Two triangles! It gets us this white triangle and that yellow triangle. I wish we had a way to represent this angle, the opposite, and the adjacent side, we do! So without going off on a tangent, the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. But we have a little problem. What is the adjacent? It's these guys, but those are the same distance. So why don't I just call that D? D. So here we can set up two relationships. We have this relationship. We have, we have, we have the tangent of 27 degrees 10 minutes. That's going to be equal to the opposite, which was the antenna plus the house x plus 28. Great. Divided by that D. Oh, wait. Why are we using the D? It's going to go away soon, see? But now we see that the tangent of this triangle is going to be the tangent of 18 degrees 10 minutes. That's going to be 28 divided by D. Now what do we have? Two equations. Two unknowns. We know how to solve that. I suggest substitution. Let's take this guy. Ooh. And I'm going to take it right up here. I'm going to use that to find out what D is. So what was that over there? See? The tangent of 18 degrees 10 minutes is about 0 0.33. And then that's going to be 28 over D. Let's solve that dang thing for D, because we're dealing with that first one. All right, so then I find D is going to be 28 over 0.33, and then 28 over 0.33 is going to be about 85.33. Go ahead, do those calculations. My calculator handles degrees, minutes, seconds. Yours might, so then you're going to convert those into decimal degrees and do the same thing, and you'll get the same thing. Now what do I want? I want to take this guy right here and bring him over there. This one, bam, boom, boom, bam. I'm also going to multiply both sides by D. So here, we're going to have whoa, D times the tangent of 27 degrees 10 minutes happens to be about 51.51. And then that's going to be equal to X plus 28. Great. All right, what was that D? It was 85.33, so I'm going to take that 85.33, and I'm going to multiply it by 0.51. Uh -huh. And when I do, 
Well, on the right side, I'm still going to have x plus 28. Great. I make that computation, that 85.33 times, that 5.51 is going to get me, wait for it, 43.79 is it. Pound it out in your calculator. Math isn't a spectator sport. Get in there. Get those fingers dirty. So then this is x plus 28. Great. And then I subtract the 28 off both sides. And then when I do, I find that my x is going to be... 15.97. All of those calculations were to the hundredths place. So I want to round this guy to the tenths place. So then that 9 goes up and my antenna is about 16 meters. Can you hear me now? Oh God, oh God! So you probably didn't stop the video here. And you go back and you reread the problem and you realize that word from means that the 28 is the distance away from the center of the house. Oh no! How are you gonna do this problem? Well, you realize you have two triangles once more. You have a big one and you have a small one. So, the big one looks like this and you find the tangent of that guy. The small one looks like this and you find the tangent of that guy. So then, you solve this one for H, you solve this one for B, and then you subtract the two C, and that's gonna be the height, right? Do that, and post that answer in the comments below.